Hi and welcome to this very short lecture on the subcutaneous layer of the integument. Now first off the subcutaneous layer is not considered part of the integument. It consists of areolar and adipose connective tissue. The areolar allows an open matrix for blood vessels to pass through in order to meet the demands of the adipose connective tissue. It is termed the subcutaneous fat layer in the areas that have the most adipose tissue. There are connective tissue fibers interwoven for support and it aids in padding and protecting the body. The subcutaneous layer acts as an energy reservoir because of the stored fat. It provides thermal insulation against changes in temperature. There is a lot of drugs that are often injected here, sub-Q as they're called, and there is a difference between the sexes. In women it is generally thicker, primarily in the breast, buttocks, hips, and thighs, whereas in men it is generally thinner and it is primarily in the neck, upper arms, abdomen, lower back, and buttocks.